And here I am now in my workshop. We'll start off with this one. Uh, another unfinished project that the engine has entirely gone through. Built right up from the bare crank, sludge trap cleaned. Built as a going to be built as a nice little street tracker, street scrambler type thing. And a very unique head. The head was, uh, as you can see, it was a Thunderbolt head which was modified for twin carburetors and beautifully ported, set up for two 32 millimeter amyls. And uh, we have some, some higher compression pistons. I believe they're nine and a half or ten to one in there and nicely built engine and uh, we have a low gear ratio in it and got the makings of a nice little street scrambler. And then over here, this is a 1952 B33 plunger frame bike. It's, a, it's actually a running bike. We've had it started and running and driving up and down the road. A lot of non-original parts. Needs restoration. It actually has a belt drive in it and an up-to-date uh, transistorized ignition from the Magneto. I believe uh, this may be a standard Magneto, but my thinking is that it's uh, it's upgraded to electronic. So 1952 B33. And this one on the lift I'm working on is a 1970 Lightning very low mileage bike. I had the top end off of it and the, the uh, just re-ringed it and redid the valves and the bike has 7,000 original miles on it. I didn't get into the bottom end or the sludge trap as the bottom end is immaculate in it and uh, I don't really see the need to service the bottom end. So we're going to finish this one up. I've already had it running. Uh, actually had it running before we tore it down and very nice running bike 1970 lightning with the, the home model tank on it steel tank uh, which was same as the firebird tank and but was used on the 1970 lightning home models and then we have here the cream of the crop 1967 spitfire 1967 Spitfire Mark III, uh, engine entirely gone through, sludge trap cleaned, engine built up the Spitfire specs, has the Spitfire head on it with the updated part number stamped in the head, 32 millimeter intake ports and 32 millimeter amyls, beautiful Barani rims, everything polished out on it. Uh, Again, the bike is probably 85% complete. 1967 Spitfire. I'll be looking to finish this one up in the next month or two. And I do have a, a brand new seat for it. That's not the seat that will be on it. Uh, it'll. This will be a very, very pristine, beautiful, restored bike when it's done. 190 millimeter front brake. And this one actually came stock with the 32 millimeter amyls. So it's got all the attributes of the original 1967 Spitfire Mark III. Very valuable bike. And that's about it. We have a few other bikes around here, but just the ones I've highlighted are, are the ones that are going to be for sale as part of the package.